It's Cat with the Upcycled Cat channel. Thanks for stopping in. You know, I'm not really happy with any of the fabric glues that I have used so far. And I think I'm going to do a test here just to see if there's one that I can narrow down to what I like. I don't like this one. I like the way this one uh, bonds, but it is so stringy to use. It's like melted cheese. You just got these little strings all over the place. Fabric Fusion is a new one that uh, I'm testing out. I haven't really used it before. Unique Bond I've used in the past, and I like the way that it bonds and holds, but I can't get this. This one's an old one, and it it's, I thought that it came out as white, like a white paste, but this one keeps spraying out in like a um, clear liquid that just runs all over the place. So I don't know if this has expired or what. And then the E6000 is awesome in that it will hold anything in place. It seems like forever, but it is so smelly and it is toxic and you've got to have really good ventilation when you use it. So I'm going to test these out and see see uh, what I think. If I need to just keep testing out different fabric glues until I find one that I like, or if maybe one of these will meet my needs. Okay, so in order to test this out, I'm going to test this with fabrics that I'm going to be using in upcoming project, and I'm going to try it on four different fabrics using the four different glues that I've been using. And this comes out as a clear liquid. As you can see right there, I'm mean, jellyish in a way. It says it's non-toxic, so I'm going to put my fingers all over it here. Rub that in. And I'm going to rub just a little bit on the outside. See if that leaves any kind of stain. And then with these, I'm just going to put a little bit down, or a lot actually, and then smush it together. Put a little bit on the outside, see if that is going to stain. Come on. It's kind of hard to get that out of the... Oh, that's probably going to stick to this white thing, this white... Uh... You know, I'm I'm not liking this in that it comes out in a big glob instead of coming out really nicely. It I've got to really um kind of push it. And then it comes out in a big globby jelly mess, but there is absolutely no smell when it comes to that. Okay, and now for the unique stitch, which I hope I shook it enough because it's supposed to come out like a white paste, but every time that it comes out, for me, it's in this runny, yikes, running clear thing. See? It just squirts out. This is supposed to be like a white paste, and it's, ugh, it's dripping all over everything. I really I am not happy with this. Look at that. I don't know if this is old. Oh, Jesus, did you see that? That just squirted all over everything. Okay, I'm done with I'm done with unique fabric. It's just I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't know if it's expired, but it's squirting out all over the place. Look at this. This is where it's squirted out all over squirted out over here on top of that. I mean, it's ugh, not happy with that one at all. I am going to go with the Fabri-Tac next. And this comes out as a clear, it's supposed to come out as a clear uh, kind of a gel. There you go. So it starts coming out really, really nice. But look at, 
I don't know if you can see that. You can already see a couple of threads forming on it that just never seem to go away, despite how many times you... Look at that. There's three more threads there. Okay. Okay, I finally was able to separate the threads. Okay, let's put that there. And then that's going to try some of this in here. And let's put a little bit here just to see if that's going to stain it. Now this is easy in that it, it comes out pretty controllable. But like I said, uh, it's really stringy. And you have to hold the bottle upside down when you're using it. Otherwise, it takes forever for it to come out again. There we go. That one wasn't too stringy that time. And now I'm just going to let that set it. No, it's a really sticky, tacky um, feeling. This glue is unlike, unlike, well, that glue is just, uh, unlike this glue. And, oh, my fingers are stuck together already. So this is a, this is a really hard glue to, to use, in my opinion. Everything is so sticky. Okay, and now for the last one, which is the E6000. And I've used this one so much that I pretty much know how this is going to work. Get a bunch in there. Okay, you can see it kind of popping up over, and I'm going to put a little bit on the edge. And I know that this will stain a little bit because it stained on the last art jacket. Or no, was that the E6000? Which one stained? Oh, it was, it was this one. I tried using that one uh, because I was just so tired of the toxic smell of the E6000. And that one stained my, my gray dino, dino eating cars. Stained it on the cuff area. Luckily, it's not too noticeable. Okay, so this one, you know, what I like about E6000 is it's pretty easy to use. It comes out of this tube in a jellish form that's easy to lay down. It's sticky, but it's not too bad. It has uh, little sticky threads that come off of it once in a while, but not too bad. But it just stinks. It stinks. It stinks to high heaven. It's toxic and I gotta open the windows every time I use it. Okay, so now we're gonna let that sit and take a look at it when it's dry in about half an hour. Okay, it's actually been about two hours since I put the glue on these things. So let's see how they're doing. These first ones are with Fabric Fusion. And it has definitely stained a tiny bit. A little bit of a darkness there. A little bit of a stiffness. And, uh, okay, I can't pull it apart. So as far as it be, being a glue, it works fine. But it, it does stain a little bit on this particular fabric. This was the mesh that I put it on. It dried clear. Yay. And of course, I'll never get these two apart. So yay for that. That's good to know. This is still wet. I guess I put way too much on here. And it looks like it has stained it. I can't tell if that's because I put so much glue on it. Oh, yikes. And that's, okay, that's not, that's not dry yet. That's, so that's not an actual 
good test of that. I put way too much glue on there, I guess. And then this one, it is also drying clear. And that, the mesh will pull off if you're using that. Really secure there. Well, overall, I so far am liking this. I like how easy this is to put down. And I like how it is not showing up. It's not staining these really delicate pieces. So, unique fabric. Uh, I am not happy with this at all. I'm wondering if um, if I just got a bad batch or something. Everything on TV shows this as as kind of like an Elmer's glue white stuff coming out. This just keeps coming out in this big globby, liquidy stuff. And I was so frustrated with it that I didn't even finish. Okay, this is still completely wet. Nothing has stuck. So I think that this is a defective tube. This is... Yeah, <laughs> completely <laughs> no glue whatsoever. So... Or maybe I forgot, I was so frustrated with this glue that maybe I didn't even bother to glue that down. Yeah, I will call this whole thing a fail. Ugh, so frustrated with that one. Okay, and next was the Fabri-Tac. And I've used it, this in the past and it's worked really well as far as bonding stuff together. This is a little bit of a darkening and staining, unfortunately. Oh, and that came right off. Holy cow. Let's see. No staining on this one. Now that's not coming off. So while it did not work at all on the uh, denim jacket, it works really, really well on this type of fabric, which I think I'm really not sure what this fabric is. But it is on there and it has not stained. And then on this one, how is it? Oh, that's just pulling apart. And it has also stained. There's a big glob right there. Yeah, so that's not working really well with this. I actually think this piece belonged here, and I was confusing it with that one. It's a fail. <laughs> Whichever glue that I used on this one, it's either one is a fail. And then last but not least, E6000. There's a tiny bit of discoloring there, a darkening there. Oh, and that is stuck on there, so that's not coming off. No staining on this one. Yay, that's good. And that is not coming off. It came off on this other part, but I think there was hardly any glue there. And that is not coming off of that. For this one, it really stained uh, this really delicate fabric. You can see big shiny, I'm sorry, I can, big shiny stain there. So that's a fail for that. It is holding though. And then this one, I don't see any staining. And that is definitely on there. That's not coming off. Okay, well, I tell you, this one has sort of been kicked out because I think I've got a tube that has expired. This one is out for me simply because it is just so messy to use. And it didn't even hold this. Uh, it just completely came right off and it 
stained on this, if I remember correctly. Yeah, big glob there. And then that came off too. So that is out. Goodbye. Which leaves these two. And I really like E6000 for the fact that it just is pretty permanent of anything you stick onto it. It doesn't seem to stain a whole lot. It did stain this, unfortunately. And it stained this a little bit. But I cannot stand how toxic this is and how stinky it smells. And then last but not least, this is Aline's Fabric Fusion. And while it did stain this, it worked really well on this. Uh, it didn't work well at all on this, but I think I had too much glue on it. I saturated that one. And I don't know. It, it seems like maybe this is more for hemming than uh, some serious glue that art jackets require because, you know, they're out there in the elements. I mean, we're talking about all kinds of stuff being glued onto the back of an art of a jean jacket and needing really secure glue to make sure that it, it uh, doesn't fall off. So I guess my overall opinion right now is that I'm going to keep using this because it seems to be the easiest and most secure. I think I'm going to use this for, for some of it. I like this glue. I just don't know that it's, it's anywhere near as strong as this stuff. And I'm going to keep looking for other glues. I know there's a lot of other glues out there. I'm looking for the perfect glue. If you guys know, if you guys swear by the perfect fabric glue, let me know in the comments because I am on this, I am on a search for the perfect fabric glue to use in my, my art jackets and my other upcycled projects. So that's it for now. Thanks for stopping in. And if you have any great uh, projects that you're working on, Leave me a link in the comments so I can go and check out your photos and have, have a wonderful time crafting and upcycling.